he should be able to see things that other people are not able to see. Leadership is not about you asserting yourself over somebody. It is about being able to harness everybody's aspirations and make it happen. What difference can you make in the world is no more in terms of charity. How innovative is your business? That's the business right now. Essentially, running an organization means in some way you're managing maybe a thousand minds or ten thousand minds. If you cannot even manage yours, how are you going to manage everybody else's? The success, even in this business space, is about growth. How many people are you touching? How vast is your operations? This is the growth of a business, not necessarily how much gold have you kept. For the very first time, for the very first time in the history of humanity, we have the necessary resource, we have the necessary capability, we have the necessary technology to address every human problem on the planet. Even twenty-five years ago, we couldn't have dreamt of it. But the only thing that is missing is consciousness. We are still thinking you versus me, we are not thinking we. When you have such a privilege in your hand, which is called as leadership, if you recognize that the work that you're doing is very important, first thing is you must work upon yourself. So leadership at any level, whether you're running your own business or a state or a nation, three basic qualities which sets a leader apart and makes him into a fruitful proposition for everybody around him is his integrity, his ability to inspire people to do the right things, and above all, insight. We have to understand that leadership today has to rise beyond national identities because only then true democracy for humanity becomes meaningful process. Changing the consciousness of the leadership shouldn't take a long time if you find access to them. The only global mechanism on the planet is economic mechanism. Politics, military, religion, all these things are split up. Economy is one thing which bridges across all divides. Only an uh, economic leader can cross boundaries and go where he wants. A political leader cannot do it, a military leader cannot do it, a religious leader cannot do it. The only person who can really build what he wants across the globe is only the economic leader ultimately. In this effort, I've been… at one time I aimed at the political leadership. Then I found economic leaders are easier to work with, <laughs> more willing to change. <laughs> and I think it's very important, the forum has done a fantastic job of putting these people together. Inclusiveness means making sure every human being on this planet has an active role to play in the economic process. Once you're a leader, the very way you think, the way you feel, the way you act, every single thing that you do affects millions of people. When such a privilege has been conferred upon an individual human being, I think it is a fundamental responsibility of every leader to do something about himself within himself, to elevate himself in whichever way possible. It's very, very essential today. In all these years of life, how many of you have passed through one twenty-four hour stretch, that is one single day, absolutely joyfully, without a single moment of irritation, agitation, pain, frustration, twenty-four hours? Very few people on this planet can say yes to this, very few. The only and the worst crime that you can commit in this life is you did not explore the full depth and potential of life. Somebody decides what I should eat, what I should wear, where I should go, where I should not go, you call this slavery. But now somebody decides what should happen within me, is this not slavery? Anybody can make you go haywire any moment in your life? Yes, people can provoke you to lose your balance within yourself. So, if this doesn't change, your ability to master your destiny is very minimal. You want your industry to go your way, you want your management to go your way, you want your family to go your way, even on that level, if you have much more control over your physical body, your mind, your emotion and your energies, 
you will see very easily the world will start following you rather than you being a slave of the situations, you start creating situations the way you want it. So this is an inner science. As there is an external science for external well-being, there is an inner science for inner well-being. Thank you.